All right, hello guys, my name is Matt. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a quick tutorial about the button for your WordPress site uh, in Elementor. All right, so first we wanna go to the Pages tab. From here, you wanna select the page where you'd like to insert the button. For me, I just named it Test Page. Great, now that you're here, you wanna click Edit with Elementor. From here, we are on the editing page, and so what we want to do is click the plus button here and select the structure that we'd like. In this case, I'm just going to select the one row and one column. Okay, now we're going to select the, f the nine squares up here and type in button. From here, we drag the button to where we'd like to insert it here. All right, now that we're here, we have a whole bunch of options. So right here is where you'll enter the text you'd like your button to say. So I'll, I'll put click here. Right below is the link. And so I, perhaps I want this one to link to the about section of my website. So I'll type in about. And as you'll see, there's a, there's a drop down list. And I just click about. And that'll fill in the link. Next, there's the alignment. So you can choose center right. In this case, I like center. Now there's sizes. I'm just going to stick with small. The icon. So you, as you can see, you can add an icon if you'd like. Um, and I'll just show you what this looks like. So it adds this little thing there. There's a whole bunch you can choose from, or you can upload your own. And you can choose where you'd like the icon position to be in the spacing as well. All right, next is style. So you can change the typography if you'd like. Um, everything about the text, I, I like it as it is right now, uh, but that's where you do that if you wanted to. Uh, you can change the text color, background color, um, border type. If you wanted a solid line, you could enter all that information here. I like it the way it is. All right. And then here with border radius, if you increase this, it'll curve the edges like that. So I think I'll go with uh, 50 there. And those are all of the um, all of the basic uh, configurators with the button. Uh, the last one I'll touch on is margin padding. So if you wanted to add a margin and have space above your button, and you can change each of these values individually by clicking unlink here. Okay, now for deleting the button. This one's pretty straightforward. So there's two ways you can do it. The first way is you can just hover over the button and right click, and then there's delete. Um, the, the other way to do it um, that gives you kind of a better sense of what you're doing is by going down here to navigator, uh, clicking on that, and then it'll show you all of the, the sections on your page, and then button. You can hide it and unhide it, and then you can also delete it like that. And there you go.